faith like it's with Pastor Daniel. I would like to talk to you about advancing the kingdom or kingdom advancement and the qualities that uh, a believer should possess to be able to advance the kingdom of God in whatever sphere they find themselves in. The, uh, we want to focus more on uh, being forceful. The Bible talks about uh, the kingdom of God in Matthew chapter 11 verse 12 that from the days of John the Baptist the kingdom of God is forcefully advancing and forceful men lay hold of it. Now there is a misconception among many believers that uh, if God wills it, it will just happen. But the Bible gives us a different perspective that it is the forceful that lay hold of the kingdom and the kingdom of God forcefully advances. It means that if we are going to move the agenda of God in any arena of life, there must be a forcefulness about the way that we do things. We must command attention. We must be people of action. People that will not take no for an answer. The kingdom of God faces much resistance because the Bible talks about we are wrestling not against flesh and blood but against powers and principalities. And it doesn't take people who take no for an answer, people who knock once and go back to push the kingdom of God forward. Doors will be shut in your face. People will say no, people will deny, people will mock us. But there is an attitude and a quality that is required in moving the kingdom of God forward. It is to be forceful. We must command attention. We must push forcefully. We must make our opinions heard even when people don't want to hear them because the kingdom of God is for the forceful. That's why when Paul was stoned in Lystra and was left for dead, the Bible says that he rose again and went back in the city. He was not a man who would just uh, be stoned and mocked and then call it a day. But the kingdom of God advanced through those who have gone before us by force. Many lost their lives. Many were mocked, were scourged, they were beaten. But because they were forceful, the kingdom of God has reached unto us. And if we're going to take the kingdom of God further than we are, there has to be a forcefulness about us. We must never take no for an answer. We must never be denied. We must never be, uh, we must never allow people to uh, overshadow us or our voices to be drowned. But our voices must always be loud. They must be clear. They must be forceful. And they must always command attention. Because the kingdom of God advances forcefully. And the Bible shows us that we are the people who must apply that force. Because God has given us His Spirit, we must be forceful by the Spirit of God. Amen.